During the next few sessions, we're going to talk about managing Unix file systems. But before we do that, we need to cover a little bit about how Unix file systems actually work. Now you've probably worked with Windows drives and have Windows drive letters, partitions and so forth, directories. And Unix is very similar in that it divides things up too. It divides up entire disks. Now you also may be familiar with the way Linux does drives and partitions and extended partitions. But Unix, particularly BSD, does it a little bit differently. It's the same concept, just the names might be a little bit different. A Unix file system, such as the BSD file system that we're using, uses the notation of drives, which are the physical hard drives. And within those drives you have four slices. Now these slices, if you were talking in terms of Linux, are also called partitions. So slices and partitions are the same thing. You have the drive and it's divided up into four partitions or four slices. Now it's further divided down in Linux into extended partitions. So in Linux a drive would be a drive, partition, and then within that partition extended partitions. Well within BSD as I said the terminology is a little bit different. You have drives, slices, and within those slices you have partitions. So the terminology can be a little bit confusing depending upon whether you're talking about Linux partitions or Unix BSD partitions. They mean two different things. Now the slice and partition info is viewed and configured through several utilities and files and some of the ones we'll talk about as we go through this part of the course includes the mount command, sysinstall, fdisk, we'll also take a look at the Etsy FS tab file, the BSD label command, several different utilities out there that enable you to manage and maintain the Unix file systems that you'll be working with in BSD Unix or in other forms of Nix also, such as Linux. Now here we have a small diagram, and this diagram is from the FreeBSD documentation on the BSD site. I want to give credit where credit's due here. And you can see that this disk is divided up into several slices. And the first slice in Linux, we have uh, AD0, which is an, an ATA drive, an IDE drive, uh, is called AD0. And the first slice is S1, for slice 1. And you can see this slice is dedicated to DOS or Windows. It could be a FAT partition or an NTFS partition slice in this in this case. Then we have another slice or partition, and it's in this uh, the partition is in the second slice called AD0S2. And within AD0S2, you have several partitions. Remember, it can get confusing depending upon whether we're talking about Linux or BSD. And right now we're talking BSD. So first slice is AD0S1, that's the DOS or Windows, and then the second slice, AD0S2, is divided into several partitions, A, B, E, and F. And you have them mounted as slash, which is root, swap, var, and USR. How things are called in BSD Unix is a little bit different. As you know, most device files are off the slash dev directory and we have the device file itself, AD0S1A, is mounted on slash, which is root. Now if you look at the different devices that can be mounted in the screenshot, uh, we have AD0, which we know is the drive, slice 1, and then we have the B partition on slice 1. Right now that's the swap partition. The other one we have is AD0S1A, that's the drive 0, slice 1, partition A, and that's mounted on root, or just slash. And that uses the US, UFS file system, as opposed to ext2 or ext3 or riser or so forth. BSD Unix uses UFS by default. The next one we'll see in this entry is ACD0. That's the CD-ROM device, and that is mounted under slash CD-ROM. Now that we've talked about partitions and slices and disks, let's go a little bit farther. Let's actually look at the file system. Now the file system can be mounted all under one partition or under one slice or it can be mounted separately. But basically the structure of the file system it looks the way it looks on the screen. Now this is a generic file system. This is not necessarily BSD or Linux because they can vary between say Solaris, IRX, BSD, Linux and so forth. So this is just a notational kind of file system here. 
you see that we have the root and everything goes under root. You have slash temp, slash USR, slash var, slash Etsy, slash MNT, and there are many other ones as well, depending upon what distribution of Linux or version of BSD or Solaris you have. And under those you have various subdirectories like local bin under user, log under var, and so forth. For example, if we have slash which is root, and then etsy under that, slash etsy, and then the ssh directory under that, we notate that as slash etsy slash ssh. That's our absolute path. And if we do a directory here, and we'll look in the screenshot here, we look in the root directory, we do an ls on that, and we see that all the different directories under there, like slash mount, slash media, slash var, slash usr, uh, we see those under the slash, under the, the root directory. And then if we change directories to slash etsy, we can also look in there and we'll see ssh. So we can change directory to ssh, and you can see how it's notated in there, slash etsy, slash ssh. So you've got how it looks on the screen and how it looks logically, uh, the diagram before this. So navigating around through the file system is not that difficult. And this was just an introduction to the file system itself. We're also going to cover creating file systems and managing file systems as we go through the next few sessions. So you'll help to understand a little bit better how file systems work.